learn how to properly weigh things. Welcome to the weigh station. First off, this is a weigh balance, and this here is the lid. So we need to open up the lid, and we're going to take our weighing boat and set it on the weigh balance. First thing we need to do here is click the zero button so we can properly weigh out the amount of grams that we want to put there. This is our spatula, and we're going to scoop in our ideal weight here, which is 1.5 grams. We need to make sure that while we're doing this, we don't put over 1.5 grams because it is much, very difficult to reverse that process. And once you get close, go very slowly. And there we have it. We are at 1.5 grams. Hi, and welcome to the pipetting station. My name is Lacey, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to accurately measure volumes from one container to another container. In order to do, do this, we're going to use a pipette, and we have pipette bulbs available as well. There's two different kinds. Both I will explain to you how to use, and we'll start off with the blue pipette. So now we have the pipette and the pipette bulb. We have that we're going to be measuring today is water that I've dyed with food coloring to make it more visible. We will pipette the liquid up into the pipette and then put it into an Erlenmeyer flask just to see how the transfer is made. So the way that this bulb is used, I'm going to use my dominant hand so I'm right handed when I write. I'm going to hold the pipette with my thumb and my middle finger to keep my pointer finger free. This is what's going to be covering the opening of the hole when I remove the bulb. In order to pull liquid up into the pipette, we're going to squeeze the air out of the bulb, put the tip of our pipette down into the liquid, and then the bulb is going to go on top of our pipette. Slowly let out your um, clenched hand and liquid will be drawn up into the pipette. Once you get past the volume that you want, you're going to remove the pipette bulb and quickly put your finger that you had free over the hole of the pipette. This is going to keep the liquid in the pipette. If you want to go further down, so this is a 10 mil pipette, we're over 10 mils. So in order to get rid of some of that liquid, we're going to ever so slightly move our finger to the side to let some air in to displace that liquid. So, as you can see, it's a little bit difficult, but with practice, you can get better at it. Once you get to the volume you want, you make sure that your finger is covering the hole completely, move it to the container that you want the liquid to go in, and then just simply let your finger all the way off of the covering of the pipette and the liquid will come out into your flask. Now we're going to be talking about the red pipette bulb. For this one, when you have it on your pipette, you will keep it on for the whole amount of time that you do your liquid transfer. In order to suck liquid up, first there is a spot here at the top that you're going to press with your fingers. And you don't have to press hard, but you just press enough to where you can squeeze the bulb to let air out. Let go of the spot where you were squeezing and you have a deflated bulb. The next thing that we're going to do is pick up the liquid. In order to pick up the liquid, we'll put the tip of our pipette down in the liquid. There's a second spot right here that we're going to squeeze next and that will draw the liquid up. Again, you don't have to squeeze very hard, just enough to where the liquid will start coming up the pipette. This one's a little bit easier to measure the correct volume than the blue bulb was because you can more accurately stop when you have enough of the liquid. If you do go over, you can let some of the liquid out and that is using the third dot over here on this part that sticks out. So squeeze that together and watch until your liquid is the height that it needs to be. Okay. 
So now we're at 10 mils. In order to get the liquid all the way out, we're going to put it into our container that we want it in. And that same one that you made the volume lower on, you're going to use to let everything out. So again, squeeze on that third spot and your liquid will come out. And then you're done. When you're pouring liquids, a meniscus forms either when you're pouring into a graduated cylinder or with a pipette. And a meniscus is going to tell us exactly how much volume we've added. So let's take a closer look at how much I've poured. The meniscus that we have here is at about 9.2. The meniscus is the bottom part of the curve that is formed and that is the exact amount of volume that we are measuring.